Hello everybody, this is Shekhar here from testingpool.com. This is third tutorial of LeanMT. Uh, in the previous two tutorials, we have seen the different ways of uh, ways of installing the LeanMT. Uh, the first way was installing it as a separate component from um, HP website, and the second way was like uh, as it comes with as a free component with UFT 12.5 version. Right, so we have seen those two ways uh, to install LeanFT. In this tutorial, we will see um, how LeanFT will work with the browsers like uh, Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. Um, it will not simply work with the Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox as UFT works directly. So we need to um, perform some settings on the browser's site. So we'll see that how to do that first. So um, opening Eclipse. As you can see, when it is loading, it is loading the component like com.hp.lft.commands. And it will start the LeanFT uh, runtime engine as well. By default, it will be enabled in Eclipse. Okay. So we'll create one project here. So we'll create one class under the source folder. Right click on the source folder. Go to others and into other folder you will see uh, one folder called LeanFT. Under that we need to select the option LeanFT JUnit test case. So we'll create the test case with the JUnit framework. We can define some package name here. So it is asking to add JUnit library to build path. Click on OK. As you can see here, it has added three methods with the annotation before class, after class, and test. Right. So before class and after class um, are taking care of the initial setup and the uh, exit scenario, like tear down, global tear down. So we'll be writing our code under the test annotation, and the code which we'll be writing is to open the browser right and the browser will open one application say a uh, gmail application so i'll start writing the code browser factory dot launch 
going to select browser type under browser type you can you have the option as chrome firefox internet explorer right as you can see so let's select internet explorer first so we'll be opening a web gmail uh, into internet explorer first Add the exception handling here. Browser dot navigate. Under navigate, we need to type the string, and that means URL of the application. So what it will do it is creating the object of the browser instance and then with that browser object we are navigating to the gmail application and that application will be opened in the internet explorer instance so let's run this and see how it behaves we'll select junit here it has opened the internet explorer as you can see it has opened the internet explorer it should open gmail application also but the test case has been failed the reason behind that is as you can see the first statement cannot identify the object web browser verify that objects property match currently displayed in, displayed in your application So, and sometime it will give the error message like you need to enable the HP UFT component into the browser settings, right? You might also get that error. So, if you get that error or if you get this kind of error, what you can do is the reason behind that is we need to enable the component. You go to manage add-ons and as you can see here HP functional testing agent right as it is disabled right now we need to make it enable right to make it comp compatible uh, with a lean FT so after that any application will start working on this now if I again run the application run this test let's see it this time it should open the gmail it's a bit slow but as you can see it has navigated to gmail application and this time the test case should be fast as you can see in the green status here right the same way if you are working for chrome and the firefox right we need to enable this component in those browser as well and browser type you need to select which browser you you are trying to work on as suppose we work on chrome so before that we'll directly enable that component in chrome itself so as you can see here uh, when i open the chrome directly it is giving me the pop-up to enable extension right HP functional testing agent 
so this is the first time I'm opening Chrome browser after I have installed lean FT so that's why uh, the first time it will give you the enable extension pop-up so you can directly click on this enable extension and now lean FT should work with Chrome as well if you do not get this uh, option what you can do is you can go to more tools and extensions under extensions also you will find this HP functional testing agent component and right now it is enabled because we have enabled this right if it does not work this checkbox will not be checked so you need to check this checkbox to make Chrome compatible with lean FT now lean FT will work with Chrome as well and let's see the same thing in Firefox in Firefox also you need to go to add-ons and under, under extensions you will you can see this HP functional testing agent component right so it is it is disabled right now so we need to make it enable so now lean FT will work with Firefox as well so let me just run this code for the Chrome browser as you can see in the taskbar like it has opened the Chrome browser just now just maximize it As you can see Gmail application is open now right so in this way lean FT will work with different browsers the first step is uh, to make it compatible with the browsers right then only we'll we will write the code for that for uh, more application testing so that's the only thing I wanted to tell in this tutorial so I'll come up with next tutorial with more features and more uh, learning on the lean FT. So bye bye as of now. Thank you.